ClassicGameRoom.com It's Classic Game Room broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade where I'm taking a look at Super Soccer on the Super Nintendo. Is it as super as it sounds? What's so super about Super Soccer? Well, as far as I can tell, at least three things. Starting with the music. As the budget for new soccer or football games has increased, the desire to use real licensed music for some reason has gone way up. But you don't have to look much further than this game to realize how much better life would be if we had 16-bit music playing over everything, especially sports. Now that's the second thing that's super in this game, the shoulder takedown that doesn't result in a foul 95% of the time. Why bother slide tackling people when you can just elbow them in the face? Truly a super addition to this soccer game. Now before we get to the third super thing in Super Soccer, let's stop at a super runner-up, the Soccer Hat Trick starring Yoshi. Worthy of a mention for sure. Now let's move on to the third super thing in Super Soccer, the crying goalie scene. Boo hoo hoo! That's beautiful. Let's see that again because I think they sampled Chekhov from Star Trek 2 when he discovers they're on the Botany Bay. Oh, no. Botany Bay! Don't put that thing in my ear. There you have it. The three super things that make this version of soccer super. The rest of it, however, really doesn't live up to the game's title. Admittedly, I'm not very good at sports games, and I know next to nothing about soccer or football, but I've played a lot of these games, and while I think Super Soccer looks cool, I like the camera perspective, especially considering this is a 1992 release, it doesn't seem to play terribly well. It's more fun to just attack the other team, and then kick the ball at the net from a half mile away. Solid goaltending, Belgium. Way to go. Unless you have the Super Nintendo Future Internet Adapter, there's no online multiplayer, but there is single player, one player versus two player, and one and two player versus the computer modes in Super Soccer. So it's got pretty much all the 1992 era stuff covered. Except fatalities. If you can just attack people like that, you should be able to freeze them and then smash them for a finishing move. That's the sweet spot on the field right there. You score every time. And I think I had the exact same move in NHL 91 when playing as the LA Kings. Drove my friends crazy. Did you happen to catch the in-game advertising in the background for the Game Boy and SimCity? The developers at Human Entertainment were ahead of the time and also biased towards their Japanese team. So I apologize to the viewers in Argentina, it's not my fault. They cheat. According to their skill statistics, they're not supposed to be this good, but they are. Team Japan is a menace. So I gotta give a big classic game room shout out and thank you to my main man Lee from Bucks in the United Kingdom for sending this to the show, along with Blade Runner 
and the Hyper Neo Geo 64, which I'm still trying to find its own machine for. There's no sharing between Neo Geos, Lee. Super Soccer is a cute game. It's got some personality, some great music, and I like that. So a big thanks once again to Lee. There's three reasons this game is super, and Yoshi isn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs>